You know, it was last week when we spoke with Jimmy Reed in the studio about how this year marks the 38th anniversary of Martin Luther King Jr. Day and how his teachings are just as important now as they were when he was alive. Reading his letters, listening to his speeches, and watching footage of the marches he led continues to inspire people all across the world fighting against racial inequality. It's really about bringing people together, and just like Dr. King said in his famous I Have a Dream speech, uh, I have a dream that one day little black boys and girls will be holding hands with little white boys and girls. And speaking of bringing people together under the banner of Martin Luther King Day, the perfect combination of films, artwork and music is taking place this weekend in Ocean City. And here to share all the fascinating details about this MLK Weekend Fest is Rena Thaler. She is the executive director uh, for the Art League of Ocean City. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Great to be here. Happy New Year, by Happy the way. New Year, yeah, so before we get into the event, why do you think it's so important to celebrate the life of uh, Dr. King? Well, you know, the, a lot has been accomplished since Martin Luther King you know, passed away, but there's still so much more work that needs to be done, and we need to remember his legacy and the words that you just spoke about, you know, bringing people together. We were thrilled when the town of Ocean City actually approached us with this concept for a Dream Fest weekend in Ocean City. Mm. So. Now, the, the, the values of the Art League really do go hand in hand with those of Dr. King. Um, how are you putting those out there into good use, into the community? Part of our core values is to bring diversity and equity and inclusion into everything that we do. And um, this weekend in Ocean City, the town of Ocean City has prepared these concerts called Dream Fest, where they're having the B.B. King experience and the Commodores and the Spinners at the convention center. So we were trying to bring something that would make it a complete weekend to bring people to the town and um, to celebrate um, Dr. King's legacy. And uh, we, this weekend has just started out as a small grain, but then it has started to grow. Um, so it's a combination of telling the story through film, as you mentioned, through an artwork exhibit and through music and a reception at the Art Center that will be before the concerts that are happening at the Performing Arts Center. So people could come to the Art Center on 94th Street and um, experience the reception and celebration and then go out and see one of the concerts in the evening at the Performing Arts Center. So, so tell us about Laverne Eagleson. We run the Ocean City Film Festival. It's coming up in March, March 2nd through 5th. And one of the films that was submitted for the film festival was about called The Boston Photograph. And it's about a woman, a local woman, who lived in Berlin, is now 91 years old, living in Salisbury, and her daughter found a photograph of her mom with Martin Luther King and Coretta Scott King. And her mother was like, oh, yeah, but didn't I ever tell you I dated him when we were young? And um, so they, the daughter had never heard this story. And the mom told her all about the story. It was written up in the uh, um, Boston Magazine. And then the, a filmmaker from Boston, Clennon King, his name is, turned it into a documentary, which he then submitted to the Ocean City Film Festival. And part of the festival this year will feature a showcase of African-American heritage films. And this is one of the films. So we asked him, would we be able to screen it as a preview and as one of the films that we're screening during this weekend. Well, that is wonderful. What, what else can people expect this weekend at the event? So the event is Saturday from 3 to 5 um, on the 14th, as I was saying. And it will be emceed by um, Clifton Henry De Dennis, who from, uh, he's the from Delmarva Public Radio, WESM. He's going to be the MC, and he runs the Gospel Train show on Sunday morning. And then Brian Russo who will be performing. And Brian was ve very involved in a local project that also has a connection to Martin Luther King, um, a video called Mr. Tinley, which um, and then in turn spurned the efforts to do a mural in Berlin about Reverend Charles Albert Tinley, who was actually born in Berlin, Maryland, and um, famous for the hymn, um, I Shall Overcome One Day, which became the um, civil rights anthem, you know, mm -hmm. We Shall Overcome. And so there's that other cool connection. So we're, that's one of the films that will be screened. Brian will um, be performing. We'll have some of the Tinley family descendants um, there as well that will perform with him. And, uh, and then there's two other films that will be screened also about one that is more historical about a ship 
called the Clotilda that um, was a slave ship and uh, about a woman named Jocelyn Davis and her story. And then another short um, film that's about called The Great White Way about Broadway. And it's more a current film about racial disparity that's you know, still experienced today. So for Martin Luther King weekend, it's important to remember the history, but also you know, that there's still racial disparity today. Well, you have so much going on this mm -hmm. weekend, and we're gonna have a link to a website that has all of the information and times and dates and so on and so forth. Yeah. Nina Thaler, thank you so much. Thank you. Always and good to see you. Stop by and see us at the Art Center. We're open every day. Sounds so. great.